Good morning. Welcome to Cedar Creek Homestead. This is Howie. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I just out here trying to get the animals fed and do a few chores here. And uh, going into the old feed room here. And... Oh, hey. It's a beautiful morning this morning. We had a little rain come through and kind of cooled things off a little bit made it nice and uh, try to hold the camera in. probably can't see that there feed sweet feed to my cows and uh, oh to the cattle that I have up here they're getting plenty of grass but uh this probably ain't working very well holding this camera Anyway, mix, take a bucket of feed out to my, I got a, a bull I'm wanting to keep away from the cows, and I got a cow that's got a little calf, and I've got some uh, other stuff going on, so I'm kind of feed them out here, and uh, bring them a little snack, they don't have to have it, but they, uh, Here comes the old bull. Shh, go on back. Come on. Shh, get on back out of here. Come on. Shh, I left my gate open. He's shh, come on. And uh, he's coming through the wrong, wrong spot. No, Foxy. Hey, Foxy. No. Uh uh. No, no. Good boy. Anyway. This little old steer here. Come on, get up here and eat. Come on, soak, 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 soak. Come on. This little old steer here. He's uh, going to be our next year beef. He's uh, getting about a. Oh, he ain't quite a year old yet. He's probably about eight, nine months old. Let's see, I'm trying to think here. He's nine months old. So uh, he's coming along pretty good, I'm getting big. But he'll be our next one. I usually name them like T-Bone, Sirloin, something like that. <laughs> and this is our young bull, and he's uh, got him up for trying to keep him away from the cows so they don't have summertime calves. And this is one of our newest additions right there, little 130 nine there he uh, just ran around there but this is his mama this tan colored cow here big cow oh they're coming along she's looking good and her baby's doing good this old cow right here is one of my number one cows i got about a half a dozen that i say are just class a cows and this cow stays fat all the time she does really good she's getting older but she's just an excellent condition and I say older she's probably oh, about a nine year old cow so she's not old old but she's coming along and then these little heifers here they uh, about nine months old these two heifers and I, I know I have them in here with the bull not wanting them bred or nothing that uh, it won't be long I'll have to watch and I can move the bull into a separate pen it's just easier to feed them all right here together and uh, stuff and uh, just feed them a little snack every day to kind of keep them gentle down and keep these little heifers I just weaned them off of their mamas probably uh, two weeks ago or three and at the same thing with that little steer I sold the rest of the steers I had and I kept him back for a 
they don't want to pay you as much for that tiger striped look to them they'd rather have these black hided animals and because they can charge more for angus beef now that little calf right there's a little heifer and it'll probably be a keeper because it's mama's like I say one of my number one animals but they uh like the black hided animals and they pay you more money for them so i was like well if i'm gonna eat one might as well eat the one that's gonna bring the less and he'll taste just as good as any of the others so um next spring probably june july somewhere in there we'll take him off to butcher and we try to butcher one every year and keep uh food supply going but they're coming along here and enjoying their breakfast and they got plenty of grass man we have been blessed the lord has really blessed us with lots of grass this year been a wonderful year here's ella and olivia hello ella hey babies how are you How's the babies, Foxy? Leave them alone. Come here. Come here. There you go. Come on. Good. Good girls. Good girls. I just got through being fed. But... <laughs> anyway, I was checking their feet out here. They don't eat much when they're this size, but I try to keep a, a little feed for them. <laughs> How are you? How's the babies? Yeah, ain't got no food for you. Olivia. Sorry. Why you get to munch on an old finger? Yeah, Ella. <laughs> they, when you're raising baby calves, they'll stay hungry like this, but you don't want to overfeed them. Because if you do, um, you can sure kill them when they're young like this. It gets to a point where it probably don't matter, but at first you got to really be careful with them. They're coming on, doing pretty good. They can down their bottles in the morning and evening pretty quick, like. Anyway, get some feed for the chickies. And uh, as the chickens get bigger, as they get kind of bigger sized, I feed them this uh, layer of crumbles. It's a high protein, but because I've got them all run in the same pen, I don't know if you can see out this little window here. Um, some of the chickens are in the hen house but I feed them these uh, layer crumbles and they seem to like them pretty good. And uh, I keep a pan inside here. Oh, right in here is a little automatic feeder. And uh, I don't fill it up every day, but it kinda, a couple of, cans inside that thing in here and I've got one outside in the chicken yard that uh, this is where they come in and roost at at night time and this is some of the younger chickens there these here are those Americanas and two up there on the roost and there's one down there they're too young to lay yet their tail feathers they uh, must be fighting some their tail feathers have come out but uh, something's happening to them. But uh, a few of them like to stay inside here. I got that door made spring loaded, but I still yet keep it uh, latched to keep a cow or something or some dog from coming up. I'm trying to take off with it. I don't want them to get in there with my chickadees. They're 
hungry and works up today. Act like they're starved to death. They ain't used to like that. I wonder if the colder weather. Yep. And a few tomatoes. This vine's here. Dying out. Some of my vines are starting to die. These here. Good. And still got green tomatoes, a few. They're gonna have to hurry if we're gonna make before frost time. There's a little green one. They're really starting to turn ripe now, which we've really been eating them. Tell you what, I like fresh tomatoes. It's about all we're getting out of the garden right now. We got peppers, it's ready. Some of them still busting open on me. They're a lot smaller too this time of the year. We're busted like that. Well, feed them to the chickadees. shriveled up so Still getting a few bell peppers, a few of them getting a little overripe. I'm gonna go ahead and pick these dudes and a few of them. That little vine there is, well, I just don't want to come off. I guess I'll leave it. There's a few not quite ready. A few of these are. These are supposed to be yellow ones, but when they go to turning yellow, they start looking like that. So I had to go ahead and pick them early. And then when they start getting about eating size, we have had an abundant crop of bell peppers, hot peppers, you name it this year. They just really do good but then you get one like that starts turning yellow and anyway, I'm gonna leave the little ones and let them grow some more them there are good to 
chop up and put in the freezer. Bad for September. I picked these several different times and they're not as big as they were earlier but they're uh, coming along. Some of these have turned red on me and burnt actually. That one there, he's trying to turn red but he's just right. There's a pretty red one. Let a few of them turn red on these big bell peppers. My wife likes, thinks that makes stuff look pretty. Recipes when she can add a red one in there. And uh, ones about to get a bucket full there I really don't know what kind of peppers these are and I have just left them on the vines and probably need to just throw them away here I, they're supposed to be bell peppers but they've they don't look like bell peppers so I just left them because we had so many peppers it's like we don't need them but kind of look like bells um, and I haven't been brave enough to bite into one of them yet they kind of look like a habanero Pick a couple of them, taking the house plants kind of dying out, and let my wife see what she thinks those are. <laughs> hey, I just want to say thank you for watching today. Appreciate all of our viewers. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly appreciate it. It's uh, because of folks uh, like you, subscribers, that are keeping us going. And also comment if you've got something going on at your place or whatever I enjoy watching or reading the comments uh, sometimes I have to go through very quickly and I don't have time to do a big response to each individual but I'm certainly trying and I have enjoyed uh, the comments and uh, anyway uh, we do appreciate you watching you're welcome to share the videos tell other folks uh, uh, whatever you'd like to do we'd appreciate it and we say God bless you and we'll see you next time we're gone